Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. Today we're going to continue to look at um, infield play and fielding mechanics. We're going to look at Omar Vizquel from a little bit of an older video of him. You know, Vizquel has really been known for great defense throughout a, a really, really, really long major league career. Was great at both the routine play and also the web gem type play. Made almost everything everything look just so easy. Has incredible hands, incredible footwork. And so we're going to kind of just play the video and talk about a couple things. Um, the first thing that I think stands out the most when you watch Vizquel is just his hands. So, you know, you notice that he's always deflecting the ball. Okay, so one of the key things when, when you're fielding ground balls is that, you know, you're always going to deflect the ball. So you're going to catch the ball above the fingers. You're never going to catch a ground ball when you're using two hands in the webbing of the glove, right? So if you extend one one-handed to a backhand or forehand, then you can catch the ball in the web. But when you're deflecting, you're just basically trying to take that ball off of your index finger, essentially. And the other hand, your control hand, is going to be right there, boom, to deflect the ball. So you see, the glove never closes. The glove is open the entire time. He's just deflecting. And when you get good at it, when you do it a bunch, you know, when Vescal does it, it's amazing. It looks like he essentially doesn't even need a glove because it doesn't close, right? It just deflects from the glove to the control hand seamlessly. You almost never see it happen, right? Here's a play going extended forehand where the glove's going to close. There's another play. You know, those are the plays where you're using the webbing of your glove. So it's a different play, right? He's he's catching this ball in his webbing. You know, but on a on a ball where he's going to use two hands, a ball hit at him, or a ball where he doesn't have to extend, right there, he's going to deflect. Of the fingers, you know, you want to get good. The guys that are able to make this look so easy... It's because they take the ball off the same part of the glove every single time. So, you know, he's obviously gotten tons and tons of reps. But when you can get that ball off the same part of your glove every time, we talk to our infielder about trying to take it off your index finger. Right? So the index finger of the, of the hand in the glove, you want to try to focus on getting it off that every single time, staying away from the webbing of the glove and getting it off your index finger. Bang, and that thing just pops into your control hand like nothing. Another extended play. And now here he is kind of moving over to second, working on some double play turns. Let's go back to the beginning of the video again real quick. Just kind of play it here for a minute. You know, one thing I notice about Vizquel, too, whenever I'm watching videos of him, he's always having fun. Like, he's always smiling. The guy just loves to field. If you want to be a great fielder, you've got to love to do it. You're not going to be great if you don't enjoy it, right? So, like, for him, he's working here, but it doesn't feel like work to him, right? Here's a cool little shot of, oh, well, that's not, a, not the one, actually. Let me back up a little bit. I think there was a shot here somewhere of just some... Um, Play it again. Some prep steps. Let's see if you can see it. You can kind of see it in all of them. But there's, I know there's a shot somewhere here where you can really see his whole body in the frame. Amazing hands. Look at these hands. Now the ball never stops. It never, glove never closes. Ball never stops. Let's watch it again. I could watch Vizquel Field all day long. Such good deflection skills, control hand skills. Comes from working on it. Comes from hands routines. Go back and check out. Type in Anthony Baseball hands routine. Check out the hands routine we do with our guys. Make a lot of videos on it. You know, we talk all the time. Here's here's the one I wanted to see. So, really good footwork. You see the thumbs up position. You know, he's landing as the ball is basically crossing the hitting zone. He's starting to come down. So that there's no time on the ground. Basically, you're 
reading the flight of the ball as you're coming down, and then boom. So you're reading, ball's hit, and you're off. You're never coming down. Your feet are never stagnant. There he goes. So again, on those deflection skills, you know, we check out our videos on our hands routines and stuff. You know, we talk about, you know, fielders have, you know, great fielders have great feet and great hands. And, you know, you've got to work on both of them. Um, but a hand routine is something we do with all of our players to really work on those deflection skills, right? Watch it one more time here. I don't want to bore you guys, but I could just put this on loop all night long. You know, I've seen videos of him playing catch, and literally, you, you can almost not see the ball go from glove to hand. The glove never closes, just like on his ground balls. Nice little play. It makes it look easy. Uses the momentum of the ball to kind of turn glove side. There it is again. Glove never closes. So let me know if you have any questions. Just thought it was a cool video to just kind of check out again. You know, we talk all the time about trying to emulate guys and you know, the, the core principles of, of their mechanics. And, you know, I think finding some players that are great at what they do and just watching how they go about their business, right, just studying the way they're doing it. You know, we talk all the time about watching hitters, but you can do it for any position, fielders, pitchers, you know, outfielders, whatever. Watch how the best are doing it and try to emulate the guy. So there's not many people better than, than this guy when it comes to fielding baseball. So, um, again, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already. Uh, share the video with all your friends. Hit the thumbs up button. Like the video. We'd really appreciate it if you do that. Uh, check out our Instagram, Anton Baseball, on Twitter feed, Madden's 99. We're on posting videos all the time for you guys. Check out the description box below where I put a bunch of links to books and training tools that we've been using with our players and that I've been reading. Uh, check out our website, AntonioBaseball.com. We've got trials coming on or going on and coming up. So come say hello. Come try out if you're a local guy. And that's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching again. Hopefully this helps you guys get better. Let me know if you have any questions, and we'll talk to you later.